Hello and welcome to the Motorhome Diaries. We're two weeks into being on the road. So it is now May 14th, literally like two weeks on, on the road now. And we've had some things go well mm -hmm. and not so well. Mm -hmm. So we thought maybe it would be a good time to kind of recap where things stood. So maybe let's start with what didn't go well. Well, as some of you may know, if you subscribe to our newsletter, we actually had a bit of a hiccup in our year away from Belgium. Mm -hmm. um, four days in, we actually returned to Belgium because there were a number of things that were wrong with the motorhome that we didn't feel equipped to deal with. We actually tried to deal with a couple of them on the road and it didn't work out so well. No. And because everything is under warranty for a year, we decided because we weren't that far away from Belgium yet, it would be better to go back, get all the problems dealt with, get it fixed, not have to pay for getting it fixed, and then get back on the road. Mm. So that was kind of a downer, but... It was a frustrating day. I yeah. think we were both really pissed off that day. Yeah, we were. I mean, our, our gas system wasn't working, which meant we had no hot water, no fridge. Um, you know, everything was very inconsistent because at some points it would work for a little while and then it would just conk out for no reason. Our solar panel wasn't working, or at least the panel, the control panel for it wasn't working, so we didn't know if it was actually charging or not. And a couple of other little minor things that were just annoying, really. So... Yeah. Um, the upside of that is we did get everything fixed pretty quickly. Um, we had the engine checked out, which we were also a little bit concerned about, um, and that got fixed uh, yeah. relatively easily, so that was good. I was happy with Van Mobile. They jumped on it when we got there. We called them ahead of time and said, we're going to be there in four hours, and they said, no problem. When you get here, we'll be ready, and they put two technicians on it and sorted that out and a couple other things that we didn't yeah. think about, um, so that was good. I mean, so the, the support was good. Too bad we can't take them with us on the road. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just kind of tuck <laughs> one underneath one of the sofas or something. And I think one of the things that we've gotten from other people who do or have motorhomed is that, especially from your father, was that this stuff happens. Yeah. Especially when you're taking a machine out that for the first time that hasn't been used in a while, mm. stuff needs to be fixed. And let's be honest, we just didn't have time to test this stuff out before we left. No, we had just a couple of days to get all of our stuff in it, and then we were immediately on the road. So, I mean, even things that I think had been tested by the uh, the seller didn't really have time to mm. see if it was functioning or not. So, yeah. there was that. But then we also had a few wins. I mean, first off, we've been living in this for two weeks. Yep. We haven't killed each other. The cats are still with us. Yep. So that hasn't been a big thing. I think a big win has been the cats haven't freaked out as much as we expected them to, and we'll talk about that in another episode. Um, we've triumphed over hot water, and <laughs> we've triumphed over um, stuff blocking our water, yep. uh, you're getting water into this in the machine. We figured yep. out how to dump all the tanks and how to drive this thing. Um, and, you know, I think there's a whole other post about how to drive a six and a half meter long vehicle that's two and a half meters wide. Through tiny French villages. Through tiny villages. French villages, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and even on motorways, it's still not the easiest thing. So, you know, taking it all in, in stock, today's a good day. We've had down days where we've been frustrated, we've been upset. Yeah, one of the other challenges we've been finding really hard is sort of the, the balance of work and life. We've yeah. been having a hard time getting internet connection. That's been really challenging. And so trying to balance, you know, going off and doing these fun things, because it still feels a bit like a holiday. A bit you like know, that, yeah. Because it's only been two weeks. It, it hasn't really had time to sink in that it's real life. So getting into a routine of being able to do work and, and stay on top of that as well as enjoy the fact that we're doing this thing that we've always wanted to do. That's been a, a real challenge and I think mm -hmm. it will continue to be a challenge for a while. Yeah, especially when we don't have the internet. This is critical, folks. <laughs> the internet is not so easy. Um, it's expensive. Okay, so it's, a, it's, a, it's easy, but it's easy and expensive. Yeah. To get it cheap is not so easy. So 
Stay tuned, we'll figure that one out eventually. But how do you feel two weeks in? What's your just general sense, state of being? Uh, today I feel pretty good. Yeah? Um, I had a hard day uh, <laughs> yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday was a bad day. Everything seemed to be going wrong and it was, it was frustrating. But today, you know, we had a nice drive. You got to visit a, another D-Day Landing Museum. Another one, yes. Another one. <laughs> Yes, one of many. Um, we are camped tonight at a France Passion Stay, and it's actually an oyster farm. So, so you we can't beat that. That that's been amazing. We had a great walk on the beach, and then we came back and we ate a huge plate of oysters for nine euros plus our our camp yeah. space. So that makes you feel better. Good. Yes. Yeah. So I think the same thing for me. I mean, I didn't have a bad day yesterday, but. I think there's been some moments where we've been frustrated with each other. It's a small space, but we've gotten through it. Um, I'm kind of excited to see where things go. So that's where it is today, at two weeks in, May 14th. Uh, you can find out more about our journey on cheeseweb.eu, or you can leave comments on this video. For now, we'll talk to you later. Bye.